Hello, everyone. I want to read a verse to you. It is in John 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I, Jesus, am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. The Lord placed it on my heart share with you a video I made two years ago. And it's the perfect video to follow up the last video I did. The last video was titled um, How to Discern Between Good and Evil. In the video I'm going to show you, I teach on how Satan disguises himself and how he deceives and how he blinds others from seeing the gospel, believing on the gospel. Stay with this video. Watch it all the way through. It is very poignant. I truly believe it's one of my best videos that I did two years ago. And somewhere close to the end of the video is something I read. That is the perfect description of Satan and how he deceives. So here you go. Be blessed and really take in the verses that I share with you. Okay. All right. Here you go. Satan hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ is the image of God should shine unto them. He cannot hold on to his dominion any longer. The dominion over a soul if they receive the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. They are redeemed. They are set free from the chains of the devil. So what is he going to do? He's going to blind them. He's going to do everything he can to keep men, women, and children from seeing the glorious gospel. He's going to try everything he can to make the good news of the gospel appear as bad news, repugnant news, misunderstood news, old-fashioned news. He's messed it in their mind. He's blinded them from seeing their need for the Savior. He's blinded them from seeing the glory of knowing eternal life. And this blinding is strong. Now, how does the devil blind the unsaved? 
Well, he uses many means to blind the unsaved from the gospel. First of all, he disguises himself. He doesn't reveal his true colors to man. When he comes into the heart of a person, he doesn't introduce himself as the father of lies. He doesn't say, Oh, I've got a deception for you. You want to hear it? <laughs> no, he disguises himself. Remember, he came to Eve as a beautiful serpent. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. He came to Eve as one of the creatures in the garden so that she would trust him. She would feel comfortable with him and listen to him. He often appears as an angel of light. Second Corinthians uh. Chapter 11 and verse 14. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And along with disguising himself, he has his human workers as well, who are just as deceived, but they also become deceivers. Verse 13, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And then verse 15. Therefore, it is no great thing if his Satan's ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And there are a lot of them in the world right now. Some of them, not all, but some of them are pastors of mega churches. Remember when Satan tempted Eve just got to show this again. Oops, chapter 3. When Satan tempted Eve, he mixed in enough truth to make the whole lie look legitimate, truthful. First of all, he tells a bold-faced lie. Ye shall not surely die. He put a tie. 
tiny bit of truth in there, in that they would not physically die right then and there. But God was not only talking about the physical, he was talking about the soul. And the moment they sinned against God, they died. Their souls died. And then their bodies began, began the aging process and started dying bit by bit. Satan is the liar here, not God. Every time you see a cemetery, that should scream out to you, who's the liar, God or Satan? Satan. Every time you see another victim die from this coronavirus, Who's the liar? Satan. When you see people die in wars, who's the liar? Satan. And he went on to say, For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened true and ye shall be as gods knowing good and evil first of all they would not be as gods there's only one god but this part was true they would know good and evil See how he intermixes a lie with the truth? And if you're not in this book, I'm afraid you won't recognize when a truth has lies in it. Because you put just one drop of a lie into a truth, it's an entire lie. It just takes one tiny molecular virus to enter into the, bio, the body to make one sick. And then the whole body is sick. That's the way lies work. They contaminate the whole thing. Now here's another way that Satan blinds people from the gospel. He controls people's hearts and minds. Luke 22. Start at verse 3 through 6. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot being of the number of the twelve. He's one of the twelve apostles. And when he, Judas, went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray Jesus unto them. So Satan controlled his mind to betray Jesus. Number three, he hinders the message of the gospel. Matthew thirteen nineteen. Jesus is speaking. When anyone heareth the word of the kingdom, that's the gospel, and understandeth it not. Then cometh the wicked one, Satan, and catcheth away that 
which was sown in his heart. So he comes in and he snatches that message as quickly as he possibly can. Number four, Satan prevents people from hearing the gospel through deception and lies. John, chapter 8, verse 44. Jesus is speaking. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. He miss, or number five, he misinterprets the truth. And we just talked about that in Genesis 3. How he uh, took God's words and he put a little lie in there. Actually a big lie. But he had just enough of the truth to make it look like the truth. So we don't need to go look at that. Number six, Satan also takes away that which the unbeliever has heard. Luke 8, those by the wayside are they that hear the gospel. Then cometh the devil and taketh away word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. Seven, he encourages false trust in religion. Proverbs 16.25 There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So in other words, a certain religion might look good. That way I will follow. It'll lead me to God. I'll go to heaven or I'll be reincarnated. No. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Satan has his methods with unbelievers. He wants to keep them from hearing the good news about Christ the forgiveness of sins. And how does he do this? He prevents people from hearing. He blinds them to the good news. He takes away the good news once they have heard it and has them falsely trust in something apart from Christ and his gospel. That is the strategy to keep people from hearing and believing the truth about Christ. I want to read you something. This is a, these are lyrics from a song that I heard once. And it's as if Satan wrote these lyrics. Okay, so just remember that. 
And these lyrics really reveal his methods and what he's doing. And his deception. And his goal. So listen to this carefully. I've been here since the beginning of creation. I know exactly how you work. I know all of your cravings. Know what makes you go berserk. I've been lying from the start just to make you play a part in my infinite rebellion against God. I hate everything he is, and I make you hate him too. I make you hate him with your actions. It's so easy for me to do, because you like it. Sin feels good for the ego. You love it. Come on, you know it. And all the time I'm winding you up like my perfect little puppet. You're my favorite robot. Welcome to the show. But I'm watching you. And all of hell is with me too. Helping me make my lies look true. Oh, and there's a lie that works for everyone. A lie that opens up your heart so I can get me some more of your free will to give me the control. That's why I'm telling you Selling you anything, everything appealing to your human way of being. And I use it all against you to just keep your eyes from seeing past the life you're living, past the moment you're in, past the pleasure of your sin or the cigarette you're smoking choking on your lust. I'll make you drunk with pride and so deeply spun into my system that you won't see the light. Never mind that I'm drowning you. I keep deceiving you. Why? Because I don't want you to know about the God in heaven who loves you, who sent his son for you. Why would I tell you the truth? Or I'll tell you that millions of years ago an accident exploded and you're the result of this cosmic unknown with no real purpose created for no real intent. The reason for your living is just coincidence. So all that remains is what you can gain. Whatever meaning you attach to your days, you decide. But I help you recognize the important things in life, like money. It's the root of all evil, so God says. I attach your self-worth to the salary you're paid. Be a slave to your property, your jewelry, your cars and things. Advertise that lie up on the TV. So you'll want that, selling bit by bit the little pieces of your soul, climbing up the ladder of economic control. Oh, the greed of man makes it so easy to pervert God's plan. 
or I'll tell you there is a heaven, but there's many ways to get there. Keep you so confused that you stay bound to your sin. I'll tell you there are many ways to the same God. Keep you distracted with your methods so your heart stays hard. I'll make you think you've got spirituality, but it's really just emotional alchemy. Oh, the vanity of self-idolatry. I never let you see that it breeds hedonism. And it's the anthem of this generation. Come on, drink it, snort it, smoke it, swallow it. Chew on my illusion of freedom till you vomit it. Because I don't want you to know about the God in heaven who loves you who sent his son for you. Why would I tell you the truth? If you want to know how to be saved, how you can inherit eternal life, how you can have your sins completely Please go into my description down below this video. You'll see dot 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 more. Click on that. It will open. And under a couple of paragraphs, there will be God's plan of salvation. Oh, if you feel a stirring.